Hello students, I am Nilamam here. Today I am going to teach you here chapter number that is 15 circles and triangles. Today my topic is about triangles and properties of triangles. In my earlier video I have taught you about triangle. The triangle is a two dimensional shape with and closed with three line segments. Bounded by three line segments. Triangle is two dimensional figure bounded by three line segments. So triangle on the basis of sides and angles, the triangles are of three types. On the basis of sides, the triangles are of three types. First is scaling triangle when all the sides of a triangle are of different lengths all the three sides of the triangle are of different length then the triangle is called a scaling triangle second is an isosceles triangle when any two sides of the triangles are equal in length and third side is of different length then the triangle is called a and isosceles triangle an equilateral triangle when length of all the three sides of a triangle are equal when the lengths of all the three sides of a triangle are equal so all the sides of the triangle are of 3 3 centimeters then the triangle will be called an equilateral triangle then based on the angles the triangles are of three types when in a triangle, when in a triangle, all the angles are, all the angles are acute, for 60-60 degree, then the triangle will be called an acute angled triangle. Acute angled triangle. So this will be called an acute angled triangle. When any one of the angle in a triangle is any one of the angle in a triangle is of 90 degree measure and other are acute angles other two are acute angles then this triangle will be called right angle triangle right angle triangle if in a triangle one of the angle is obtuse angle. Obtuse angle means an angle which is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree. When in a triangle any one angle is obtuse angle and other two are acute angle. Acute angle. Then the triangle will be called an obtuse angle triangle. Obtuse angle triangle. Okay. So this is the recapitulation about types of triangles based on sides and angles. So today I will tell you about the properties of triangles. First property is angle sum property. Angle, pro angle sum property ki the sum of all the three angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degree. That is equal to 180 degree. Ki kisi bhi triangle ke jo तीनों एंगल का टोटल है वो किसके इक्वल होता है हमेशा 180 डिग्री के दैट इज इक्वल टू 180 डिग्री सो जैसे कोई ट्रायंगल है देखो ये ट्रायंगल है आपको मैंने पहले वीडियो में भी बताया हुआ आई हैव सेंट यू वीडियो अर्लियर कि सपोज दिस इज ट्रायंगल ए बी सी this is angle 1, angle 2, angle 3. You will draw a triangle on a piece of paper. You can draw two triangles, okay? And try to make the angle with the help of compasses. This arc. This arc with the help of 
compasses. Angle 1, angle 2 here with the help of compasses. Then you will cut. You will cut with scissors these angles. Cut along this arc. This arc. Cut all these three angles. One along this arc. These three pieces here. Three angles. And you will draw, a, when you will draw a straight line, that is of 180, 180 degree angle. When after cutting all these three angles, angle 1, angle 2 and angle 3, paste along the straight line and you will find it will cover complete 180 degree angle. All the three angles, when you will paste along a straight angle that is of 180 degree, you will find the angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree. So, property number 1 is here. Property 1 is the sum of Property 1, the sum of all the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. I have sent you video earlier based on this activity, angle sum property and you will do that. And you will learn that the sum of all the three angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degree. Okay. Suppose you are given two angles and you are asked to find the third angle. Then you will apply key. We know that suppose two angles here. Suppose you are given two angles. Two angles here, 60 degree, 40 degree and you are asked to find a third angle. You don't know. So, by angle sum property, what you will write? Property number one, angle sum property. Angle sum property. We know the sum of all the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Therefore, Angle A plus angle B plus angle C will be is equal to 180 degree. It will be is equal to 180 degree. So right angle A that is 60 degree. That is 60 degree. Angle B 40 degree. Angle C, we are going to get that equal to 180 degree. So, 60 degree plus 40 degree, 100 degree plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. So, angle C will be is equal to 180 degree minus 110 degree. So, angle C will be 80 degree. It will be 80 degree. In this way, we will find the third angle. Okay, we will find the third angle. Then property 2 is ki the sum of any two sides of a triangle is always greater than the third side. Property number 2 is the sum of any two sides of a triangle is always greater than the third side. For this triangle ABC is here, ABC is here. Then AB plus BC will be greater than CA. Then BC plus CA will be greater than AB. Then CA plus AB will be greater than BC. Any two sides, the sum of any two sides of the length, the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle will be always greater than the third side. There are some questions based on this. So, when you are given ki R, the triangle with the given measurement is possible. 
So three sides are given to you: five centimeter, eight centimeter, and two centimeter. Are these three sides of a triangle? Then we will verify by property number two. We know that the sum of any two sides of a triangle is always greater than the third side. So, property number two will be. Then we will write. Suppose this is a triangle. The sum of any two sides of a triangle is always greater than the third side. The sum of any two sides of a triangle is always greater than the third side. So here, suppose AB five centimeter. A B C is given. This is A B is five centimeter, B C eight, and C A two, and C A two. This is a just rough sketch for our convenience. Okay. So first of all, we will write A B plus B C. Property number two is the sum of The lengths of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is always greater than the third third side. Greater than the third side. Okay, then we will write the A A B plus B C should be greater than C A. So A B plus B C is greater than C A. So what is A B here? Five centimeter plus eight centimeter should be greater than two centimeter. So five plus eight is thirteen centimeter. Thirteen centimeter is greater than two centimeter, right? Then we will take B C plus C A. BC here BC plus CA should be greater than AB. BC is eight centimeter, CA is two centimeter should be greater than AB that is five centimeter. So eight plus two ten centimeter is greater than five centimeter. Then here then we will find CA plus AB should be greater than BC. So CA is two centimeter, CA plus AB. Two plus five, seven. Seven is not greater than eight. Seven is not greater than eight. So we will write that seven centimeter is not greater than eight. If in one, in two cases, the sum of the two side, the sum of the lengths of two side is greater than the third side. But in one case, but in one case, last case here, the sum of Two side is not greater than the third side. Then we will say that the triangle, the triangle of the given measurements are not possible. So the triangle, the triangle with given with given measurements is not possible. Measurements. This is our rough sketch for our convenience. हमने इतनी convenience के लिए बनाया था इसको आपको समझाने के लिए, okay? So one case में क्या है कि seven centimeter greater नहीं है eight centimeter से. Then we will say the triangle with the given measurements is not possible. Is not possible. Clear? So in this way you will solve the question based on properties of triangles. Properties of triangles. Clear? Yeah?
So, your homework is you complete this chapter number 15 of discovering math. The problems based on the properties of triangles and stay alert, stay healthy, mask yourself, take proper care. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you.